is addressed to Pastor Cook. Pastor Cook, um, I have a two-part question for you. Um, the first part is regarding Isaiah 9 and 6. Um, when it says, when Isaiah said, For unto us a child is born, and then in the latter portion of that scripture, it's his everlasting father, um, the relation to for unto us a child is born and um, everlasting father. Could you explain that? And also in Acts 20 and 28, when um, the, the word of God records um, the church, which he has purchased with his own blood, um, which, which God has purchased with his own blood. Could you also um, um, share, sh- shed some light on it? That sure. Scripture. Jesus Christ is God in the form of a man. Therefore, there's no contradiction there. Uh, God purchased the blood, not only with the blood of his own son, but with his own blood, because Jesus Christ also is God. In reference to Isaiah 9-6, Jesus is called the second Adam. Adam is our temporal father. Jesus is the one who begets us to an everlasting life. So therefore, he is our everlasting father. The fact that he's called father doesn't mean that he is the father. It simply is a, an addressing his role. No more than if I say a dog and a cat are mammals, they're the same in that sense. I, Jesus Christ is the everlasting Father in the sense that he is the second Adam. All right. If Father were just a term of relationship, which is my position, then you could, in theory, have many fathers. But if Father is the unique name of one member of the Trinity, it's very strange that the second member of the Trinity would be given the name of the first member of the Trinity. That, that's confusion. The Son is the everlasting Father, the mighty God. It's not just speaking of His human role, but speaking of Him as God, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. And in that connection, Isaiah 63, 16, speaking of, of God, Israel speaking to God, Doubt, Doubtless thou art our Father. Though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not. Thou, O Lord, art our Father, our Redeemer. Thy name is from everlasting. The same one who is our Father is also our Redeemer. Jesus is our Redeemer. He is also our Father manifested in the flesh.